Unbeknownst to many, Mel Gibson has been a big player on the global real estate market for most of his life. He's owned and lived in a handful of unique properties, from an old world mansion in Malibu, to a tropical hideaway in Costa Rica, and even an entire private island in Fiji. Over the last few years, the actor and director has offloaded most of these properties though, so where his main residence is currently located is somewhat of a mystery. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Mel Gibson is an actor, director, producer, and screenwriter who was born in New York but grew up in Australia from the age of 12. He's best known for his roles as an action hero, which includes his breakout role as Max in the series Mad Max as well as Lethal Weapon. Mel also produced, directed, and starred in the historical film Braveheart, for which he won the Golden Globe Award for Best Director the Academy Award for Best Director, and the Academy Award for Best Picture. He went on to direct and produce The Passion of the Christ, which was a biblical drama that was both financially successful and highly controversial. At the time of this recording, he has a net worth estimated at a whopping $425 million, making Mel one of the wealthiest actors of all time. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and today we're checking out some of the homes of Mel Gibson. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And let's get into this video. We're gonna kick things off with Mel's former Malibu mansion, which had a notably old world vibe to it. This one might just be my favorite. In 2019, this property resurfaced on the market for $14.5 million after Mel had tried to sell it before in 2017 for $17.5 million to no avail. The estate had a unique stone brick, stucco, and wood clad exterior, and it was set behind an electric gate as well as a thick wall of trees and greenery on nearly five and a half acres of land. The manor is tucked away in the canyons above the ocean in Malibu, California, and Mel picked it up in 2008 for $11.5 million from then married actors David Duchovny and Tia Leone. One thing this mansion surely isn't lacking is character. Inside, there's 6,578 square feet of space with five bedrooms and 4.5 baths. A long driveway leads up to a classy motor core and detached garage with guest quarters over top. But there's also an additional guest house and pool house with fitness center on the property. Property. The home was built in the mid 1990s, but has since acquired plenty of updates, and there are a ton of old world architectural details inside, not to mention some religious artwork. The wood and glass front doors open right into a tower and great room with double height and exposed beam ceilings, more archways, and a bank of windows with diamond pane glass. This room also boasts a giant fireplace with carved wood crosses and rosary beads, as well as rustic iron chandeliers overhead. There's also an office tucked into a nook of windows, and nearby, an airy dining room with space for plenty of guests. The French country kitchen is attached to the great room, also offering top grade appliances and bar style seating, and elsewhere there's a library study with classic built-in bookcases and another fireplace. A wood paneled family room in Mel's former home has a cozy feel, with rough stone fireplace and further opens via French doors to the grassy yard. What seems to be the master suite has a built-in long window seat with leather cushions as well as French doors to a sunroom with a mix of reclaimed wood and stone walls. This bedroom also has a stone fireplace and so does at least one other guest room in the manor. Both of these bedrooms have their own large ensuite baths which also offer indulgent soaking tubs. Out back there's a partly shaded alfresco dining space and this leads to a magical path which is lit up and winds through the trees to a multi-level terrace. This terrace is set into the hillside where there are also two swimming pools, one of which is a full regulation lap pool, in addition to a freestanding spa and the aforementioned pool house that boasts a gym. Not only did this property pack in the charm, it also came with rights to the exclusive members only La Costa Beach and Tennis Club. If you're wondering just how exclusive it is, membership fees start at a wild $100,000 with about $700 in yearly dues. Mel also owned a hacienda style home in the Serra Retreat neighborhood, which is in an enclave in Malibu, but he had listed it after his divorce from his ex-wife Robin at $11.75 million. The home also had an old world feel, much like the other property we just looked at, but it was more villa style. Situated on 2.56 acres, which according to listing materials were magically landscaped, home was also fully private in the guard-gated community. The family compound boasted a main residence, separate 
separate media room, separate gym, three guest houses, and two offices. And those are just the indoor structures. Also on this stunning property, there was a pool and spa, lit tennis courts, and an impressive two-story entertainment pavilion, which boasted a built-in barbecue, fireplace, and outdoor kitchen. All of this was surrounded by fruit orchards, grassy green lawns, and multiple patios, terraces, and picturesque fountains. Past the beautiful iron gates, you can walk up to the main house, which offers six bedrooms and five baths. And upon entering, there's a gorgeous doorway with both earthy and vibrant tones, as well as tiled flooring underfoot. In fact, most of the floors in here are a mix of hardwood and an earthy stone or brick, while the interiors also offer beautiful hand-painted details throughout. There's also a truly unique chef's kitchen with impressive industrial-grade ranges and fridges, along with a soaring red brick ceiling with skylight and floors to match. The green chandelier above the wood block center island adds the perfect pop of color too. Elsewhere, there's a cute and casual dining room with large windows and a great room with double height wood beam ceilings and built-in fireplace. Mel and his ex-wife's one-time master suite was fully private with a sitting room, as well as a fireplace, two walk-in closets, and an ensuite bath with gorgeous tile work along with a sauna and steam room. The home even offers a garden cabana with games room that leads you to the backyard. Each of the guest homes on the property are self-contained and perfect for staff or visiting family and friends. The mature and lush landscaping was complete with pepper trees, oak trees, specimen trees, avocado trees, and more. Mel is also said to own a few spots in Costa Rica, one of which came up for grabs more recently, his 400-acre beachfront paradise. This jungle getaway has been on the market for a whopping $29.5 million, and it's located in the northwestern part of Costa Rica in Nosara. Mel purchased this beautiful estate on the Nicoya Peninsula in 2007 after discovering it a year prior while they were scouting locations for his action-adventure movie, Apocalypto. The estate was originally built in 2002 and all of the buildings were made eco-consciously as to reduce their impact on the surrounding landscape. Throughout the home there's 12 bedrooms and 14 baths along with generous and comfortable living spaces. The properties all have the same design aesthetic with terracotta and coral stone exteriors and interiors which blend Costa Rica inspired design with Spanish and Italian elements such as the tiles. The buildings have a relaxed atmosphere with plenty of glass doors and windows for natural light. Each structure has a generous layout with living areas boasting vaulted ceilings, full gourmet kitchens, and multiple terraces with views of the ocean and jungle. The largest of the villas, Casa Guanacaste, is stacked with seven bedrooms and eight baths while the complex wraps around a central courtyard. Casa Barriona has two beds, three baths, and a cottage by the pool, while Casa Dorada offers two beds, three baths, and a loft space. Other amenities on this stunning estate include private swimming pools, barbecue stations, and more. The tropical getaway also has access to a secluded white sand beach on the Pacific Ocean for the ultimate escape. Despite the privacy, you could access Mel's former property by car, or if you prefer, there's a grass helipad for arriving in style. Many of the Nicoyan towns like Nasara are popular with yogis and wellness enthusiasts with retreats, lodges, and experts in abundance. A fun fact is that the Nicoya Peninsula is one of the world's first designated blue zones, an area where locals live measurably longer and healthier lives. Before we wrap this up, let's not forget that Mel also owns an island in Fiji. He purchased the Mago Island in 2005 for $15 million, which has remained mostly underdeveloped over the years. According to the sources, his island in Fiji has an upper portion island consisting of a village, ponds with drinking water, and a huge space of old vegetation hills, and a poultry farm. Here there are domestic animals including horses, cattle, goats, and chickens. Currently, the Mago Island, which spans a whopping 5,000 436 acres of land is still inhibited by a few caretakers who are of Indo-Fijian descent. Lower on the island, there's a beautiful personal lagoon where there's also a house set onto the waterfront. While most celebrity-owned islands underwent major makeovers, Mel Gibson sustained the sanctity of the island for the most part. All right, guys, well, that's going to wrap up this Mel Gibson house tour. What did you think of his many unique properties over the years? Which was your fave? Well, be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Thanks for watching, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!